Welcome to the Old Brown Glue Channel. I'm Patrick Edwards. I'd like to show you how to keep the glue uh, in case you don't use it all. Uh, when you cook it, it needs to be uh, saved. And uh, so what we do is we try to make it uh, like the old guys used to. Uh, we pour it out and we have a dried glue that we can keep for, for decades. If it's hot and wet, it sometimes attracts the mold. So what we like to do is we like to take the glue, in this case, we had a, a class and we had a couple glue pots and we have more glue than we need now for the workshop. So we're going to take this glue and we're going to save it and we're going to end up with another glue pot with some glue for day-to-day -day use at this point. So I'll show you how that works. I'm going to take the hot glue, which is uh, liquid now, and I'm going to use a, a piece of uh, heavy plastic that, that uh, is 10 mil thick. It's very heavy. And I'm simply going to pour the excess glue out onto the plastic and make a putty. This is actually kind of fun. So what I'm going to do here is pour it out. And if I let that glue cure in a short period of time, it will become a gel. And when it becomes a gel, I'll be able to lift it off of the plastic and I'll be able to put it onto a screen so that it dries from both sides and uh, in a few days I'll have this very hard layer of plastic that I can use later when I'm ready to use the glue. So that's how you store the glue if you make too much and you don't want it to go bad like if you go fishing or if you have a, a, a vacation or if you only work on the weekends. So don't be afraid to use the hot glue. It's easy to use and work with and if you do this you can uh, use the excess glue over and over again by just uh, cooking it once you uh, get ready to use it again. Now we're back at the glue and uh, it's about an hour and so it's gelled. I can tell you that it's ready to go because I can lift it up from the plastic and I can take this film off in one big piece and now I'm going to lay it on a screen to dry And tomorrow that'll be nice and hard and I can save that for as long as I want to. It's been 48 hours and uh, well, let's take a look at what we have. We have a sheet of glue which is still very flexible because it takes a long time to cure and dry. And that's typical of uh, protein glues in general uh, because the moisture has to evaporate and it takes a long time to evaporate when the film forms over the surface. So we have high glue that's trying to dry. This glue here, which is a thinner layer, is already fully dry. This is a protein glue which has lost its moisture and it's now a film. And this could be hydrated and cooked and used again. But it will take longer for this glue to dry completely, maybe a week. On the edges, it's quite brittle. But in the middle where the moisture is, it's still flexible. So we have shown you how to save the excess glue and dry it on a screen. When it's fully cured after a week or so, it becomes quite hard. And in this condition, you can keep it indefinitely. When you're ready to reuse the glue, you need to break this up into pieces and soak it in cold water overnight and then heat it in a glue pot. So it's a simple thing to break this up with a hammer, you need to protect yourself from flying pieces. Now you have these little pieces. These pieces, when you're ready to reuse the glue, can be put in cold water. And soaked overnight. The rest of this I can save and use later. The next day, the glue has absorbed all of the water and has become gelatin. This is the condition you need to have it so that you can put it back in the glue pot and heat it back up for further use. 
At the same time, you need to add hot water to correct the viscosity. And this is all you need to do to use the glue in the glue pot and take it and save it and then remix it and reheat it and back and forth as many times as you want so you never have to waste any glue. And that's one of the things I like about animal protein glue. One of the things. Everything else about it is great, but this is one of the neat things you can save it. So that's all I have to tell you today. Thank you very much. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy clamping. These French directors. I can't deal with French directors. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this. This is so much fun. This is it's it's really gooey. Happy clapping. That's so cute. <laughs> it's become my catchphrase. I'll trademark it. Well, that's the first catchphrase you had from the start, you know. Happy clamping. Cat, you almost got in the TV.